And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lance Tatum. I serve as the Vice Chancellor for the Troy University Montgomery campus, and I have the great pleasure tonight to serve as your MC for our event. The Chinese Lunar New Year, or the Spring Festival, is one of the most important holidays in China, and it is celebrated on the first day of the first month according to the Chinese calendar, and runs to the Lantern Festival on the 15th day of the first calendar month. The day is rooted in centuries old customs and traditions. Traditionally, the festival was a time to honor deities as well as ancestors. One popular myth, the origin of this day lies in the fight against Nia, a beast in China mythology that lived under the sea. The beast would visit the cities, it would threaten the people within the villages, and in order to combat the beast, citizens would place food at their doorsteps in, so that the beast would not harm them. As you know, according to Chinese astrology, each year is associated with an animal sign. So for those of you who were born in 1944, 1956, 1968, or 1980, you are a monkey. <laughs> who can count as their lucky colors, white, gold, and blue, and your lucky directions are north, northwest, and west. For this evening, the Confucius Institute at Troy University is pleased to host this celebration of the Chinese New Year. Welcome to the Year of the Monkey, and Xinyan Kuan Lo, which is Happy New Year. <clears throat> Troy University was honored in, in 2007 to be selected to host the Alabama Confucius Institute in partnership with Hebei Normal University of Science and Technology. Affiliated with the Chinese Ministry of Education, Alabama's Confucius Institute is charged with the statewide mission of bringing an expanded knowledge of China to the people of Alabama that will serve in advancing public interest in the areas of education, Chinese language, culture, and promoting economic development opportunities. The university was honored in 2007 to have Alabama Governor Bob Riley on hand in Beijing for the signing of the agreement. Governor Riley was so impressed by the partnership that he designated $8 million in state funding to assist in the building of a new home for the Confucius Institute at Troy University's Troy campus. That beautiful facility was opened in March of 2012. In addition, the Troy campus facility Confucius Institute also operates offices in both Dothan and in Montgomery. The Confucius Institute is one part, I'll bet a large part, of our overall program of internationalization at the university. We enroll students from 75 nations speaking 80 languages on our Alabama campuses, and we send our students to study abroad in such diverse places as France, Costa Rica, Kenya, Sweden, Israel, China, and Belgium. Our goal tonight is threefold. First, we want to acknowledge the fine work by everyone associated with the Confucius Institute. Second, together and celebrate the new year. And third, to expose each of you to Chinese culture and also to learn more about the role China plays in Alabama's educational and economic development. We consider all of you our guests tonight but before we begin our formal program, I would like to recognize some of our special guests. We have a, a long list, so I would ask that you hold your applause until we get to the end. Mr. Zhao Yumin, Deputy Consul, People's Republic of China, Embassy in Houston. Ms. Xu Bayou, Education Consul for Chinese Embassy, Houston. All right, you're not following directions. <laughs> That's okay, we'll adjust and move forward. We also have with us tonight Mr. Jim Ziegler, Alabama State Auditor. Mr. John Merrill, Alabama Secretary of State. Mr. Young Boozer, State Treasurer and his wife, Sally. 
With us as well is Senator Gerald Dial. General Dial also serves as the president pro tem for the Troy University Board of Trustees, and with him he also has his wife, Faye. Senator Jimmy Holly and his wife, Mary. Senator Clay Schofield. Senator Jim McClendon. With us tonight, we also have Mr. Jeff Dunn, Commissioner, Alabama Department of Corrections, and his wife, Susan. Mr. Pat Harris, Secretary of the Alabama Senate. Ms. Roseberry Elabash, Chair, Alabama Small Business uh, Commission. She also serves as the State Chair of the NFIB and also serves on the Troy University Alumni Board. With us as well is Brigadier General Chris Kofet from Air University. With us is the Honorable Todd Strange, Mayor of Montgomery. The Honorable Earl Johnson, Mayor of Andalusia and also a member of the Troy University Board of Trustees. Philip Hanley, Mayor of Columbia, Alabama. And Shelton Day, Mayor of Thomasville. Also with us tonight are several members of the Troy University Board of Trustees. We have Mr. Ed Kroll, Mr. Roy Drinkard, Ms. Karen Carter, and we also have Heath Barton, the SG president, SGA president, Troy campus. We also would like to recognize our very special host tonight, Dr. Jack Hawkins, Jr., Chancellor of Troy University, and the First Lady of Troy University, Mrs. Janice Hawkins. Please welcome our guests. I've been in Montgomery for a little over a year now and I've had the great opportunity to become really involved with uh, the business that goes on in Montgomery. I've met some incredible people, have been graciously accepted into the business fabric of Montgomery. What we're able to do in Montgomery as a university depends greatly on the partnerships that we have with those that live and work in this, in this city. Uh, one very significant partner that we have uh, is our mayor. At this time, I would like to ask Mayor Strange to come up and bring welcome. I am so delighted you asked them not to hold applause. <laughs> I am honored to be amongst such illuminaries that are here. But my frustration is that I have to speak before Jack Hawkins because we have other engagements tonight. We've already been to one. This is our important one now. But Jack and I go back to the my eighth, his seventh grade. And I'm going to reveal the truth. He was not born in the year of the monkey. <laughs> he missed it one year. But I am born in the year of the monkey. And so I am a monkey and I'm proud to be a monkey. So yes, that does make me one year older than Dr. Hawkins. I think my role is to welcome each and every one of you, uh, all those that are in the legislature, senators, we appreciate you being here. Uh, we would love for you to spend money early and often while you're here. And it would not hurt my feelings from a standpoint of economic development for you to have two or three special sessions, but I know you don't want that. I know the people of the state don't want that. But let me just say this. Troy, aside from my relationship with Jack Hawkins, is an institution in the city of Montgomery, and particularly in downtown Montgomery, because Troy University... Troy State University then came and st stuck a stake in the ground in downtown Montgomery before it was cool to be doing that. Jack Hawkins is a visionary. He visioned many, many years ago that we would, in fact, be on the move as we are today. 
And I am so excited about the Confucius Institute that we have at Troy, the cultural, the, the uh, educational side, but I also know that there will be some announcements tonight that will speak to the economic side of the equation. And so we're very excited about that particular partnership that's going on. And you're here tonight because you want to support that. You want to support our friends from China and the Chinese New Year. And it was fascinating today to read the things that get celebrated during the Chinese New Year. But I was particularly excited to hear that it's a week-long vacation where you rest, visit with family, and eat good food, particularly fish. Is that not correct? It is a wonderful opportunity. I am honored that you are here in Montgomery. I am honored that we have the international community joining with us tonight. And to have the economic, financial impact that China is making on not only Montgomery and, and uh, Thomasville and all the other areas in our state, but the United States of America. So welcome each and every one of you. Thank you, and please excuse my absence. But I know that when Dr. Hawkins gets here, since I am not here, he will not tell you the stories that he knows about me, but he will make some great announcements that we're going to be very, very proud of. God bless you, and thank you so very, very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. The success that the Confucius Institute experiences is not something that comes without great support from those that are um, designed to provide the basis by which we are able to expand knowledge, education, and language opportunities in the state. It is my great pleasure at this time to bring forward the Deputy Consul General from the Chinese Embassy in Houston, Zhao Yumin, to come forward and bring comments. Thank you. And good evening. It's a wonderful night for me to join the gala. This is my second time I visit Alabama, but I will never forget the moment here tonight. I cannot memorize all the names of the distinguished guests because as you said, you see all the Chinese people are the same face and I'll see each American people the same face too. <laughs> But let me try. I want to mention thank you, uh, Chancellor Jack Hawkins and Senior Vice Chancellor um, Mr. Ingram. Did I pronounce correctly? And also so many, many mayors and also the senators and the entrepreneurs of the city and the professors of the university and all the people, all the friends here in uh, Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, when I touch the ground, I feel the real feeling of Alabama people. You are vigorous, you are friendly, and you are so tolerant to our Chinese people. Thank you for your welcome to our Chinese people. I think China-US relations is going on in the direct in the correct direction. I came from the southern part of China. You are the southern part of America. As a southerner, we are all honest, working hard, friendly. So we are the same. We are the same people. We can work together. Some friends told me you just visited some cities of, um, of China, Hangzhou, Suzhou, G. Jinan, am I correct? They are the most vigorous part of China. The southern part welcome you to visit China, to know China more. But this is not my only purpose here. Four months ago, the Chinese President, President Xi Jinping, paid a state visit to the United States. And he expressed his solid commitment to build a new type of major country relations which features mutual respect 
and a win-win cooperation. He got echoes from President Obama. And also, four months ago, an excellent visit occurred in, um, in China. That delegation was met by, was led by the professors, entrepreneurs, and the senators from Alabama. You are the front runner of China-US cooperation and exchange. I may express my congratulations to you, to your endeavor, and to your energy. Thank you so much. And also, I want to thank the Confucius Institute at Choi University, especially Dr. Shi and her team. Without your endeavor and time and energy, we cannot see the, the success of Confucius Institute in America. You are express the sincere friendship of Chinese people to American people. The relations between China and the US is sincere. When we look back to the 37 years of the China-US diplomatic relations, we see a lot of ups and downs, wax and wane. But the main direction of the US-China relations has been always maintained correctly. This year is a campaign year. But I want to tell you, either the Democrat or the Republic controls the White House. All the political leaders and the people of America would see that only when China and the USA stand together, the human being can tackle the challenges and the difficulties in the world. We cannot neglect. We work together to beat Ebola, to fight against the terrorism, to handle the climate change, to maintain the financial stability, and to make the jobs. We can get more if we stand closer. So what I want to say is that all the people of America and China can stand hand in hand, work side by side. I, as a Houston-based Chinese diplomat, the duty is to promote the solid cooperation with the southern part of America. We saw a lot of investment went to Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas. We want to see more solid success in Alabama. <laughs> that was mentioned by the White House. The sub-national cooperation is a solid foundation of the bilateral relations. So finally, I want to conclude by a phrase. I think it's English saying, many hands make light work. So let you and me the people either in Alabama or any provinces in China to work together to get a more solid success. Thank you.
Considered a traditional Chinese art form, ribbon dancing originated in ancient China and is celebrated not only in China but around the world. Set to traditional Chinese music, dancers use sharp rhythmic movements and long colorful ribbons to charm audiences. Performing the Chinese ribbon dance, we have with us tonight lamp magnet student Samara Dor and homeschooled student Clara McCrary. example of the mission of the Confucius Institute uh, involving children throughout Alabama, uh, exposing them to culture and art of China. Our next dance is a Mongolian dance. Mongolian dance began as a ritual performance imitating the movements and the manner of deities, mystical creatures, and legendary heroes. Movements usually portray birds and animals and contain martial art elements. Telling a moving love story of a young couple, both dying for the protection of their homeland from the northern nomads' invasion, is Troy University student 
Coco, they made this easy on me, who will be forming the homecoming. could again please show our pre appreciation to all of tonight's performers. <clears throat> At this time I would like to call forward Senior Vice Chancellor for Advancement in Economic Development, Walter Gavan. Well thank you very much and please uh, continue to enjoy your meal. Um, it's my pleasure this evening uh, to welcome, first of all, again, all of our uh, state officials, both uh, elected, appointed, and to thank you uh, personally for all that you do uh, for the state and especially for our institutions of higher education, such as Troy University. And we're, we're really fortunate uh, tonight to have some what I would call giants or titans with us. Uh, Senator Wagner, unfortunately, was, was uh, tied up in traffic and unable to, to get here. But as I, I looked at the, the next uh, two speakers and, and uh, Senator Wagner uh, and reflected upon what kind of service uh, they've given this state and that they truly are uh, leaders who epitomize uh, service before self. And uh, I would never call politicians, but I would always call statesmen. Uh, if you look at Senator Wagner, S Senator Holly, and Senator Dial, you're talking about gentlemen who are in their 10th term, whether as a representative or a senator. Uh, that's a long time serving and a lot of sacrifices that they've made. But what you see in all of those gentlemen, and uh, we're going to start with Senator Hawley especially, um, you see a strength and a determination of character, 
an ability to see, three, see things through, to get things done. Um, Senator Hawley uh, is, uh, has two degrees, both a, a bachelor and a master's from East Tennessee State University. He's, he's from Alabama, but I can tell you, he was uh, an administrator at Troy, and I know of no one who is uh, more of a Trojan uh, than Senator Hawley. Um, he represents several counties in his district, but of course none is more important than Pike County, which is, happens to be the home of Troy University. So we're very pleased with that. Uh, and to have his wife Mary with him uh, today. And uh, before uh, going on to more of our program, I'd like to bring Senator Holly uh, forth to give a uh, greeting. Senator Jimmy Holly. As a friend of mine said one night after being introduced, I'm about to become an idol in my own mind. <laughs> Neiman Howell. One down, several more to go. I'm, I'm going to get close on them. Good evening, friends. I'm delighted to be here with my wife, and she's been introduced, Mary. We join you in celebrating the most important festival of your calendar, the Chinese New Year. More than a billion people in China and many millions around the world will be marking 2016 as the Year of the Monkey. Let us start with a special greeting to our guest, Dr. Xu and to the Deputy Council General of China, Mr. Yemen Zhao, and the Council of Education, Ms. Baxu Xu, and the many others distinguished guests gathered here this evening. Thank you again for giving me the opportunity to travel with you on this remarkable trip to China. I gained more knowledge about China's new infrastructure. I enjoyed touring many of your historic sites and took pleasure in testing many new and interesting foods. It was a trip of a lifetime, and I personally will never forget it. Following our notable trip to China, a very strong relationship has developed between us and many here in the room, and it's that relationship we also are celebrating here tonight. On this occasion of celebrating friendships and the welcoming of a new year, I would like to express my wishes to all of our Chinese colleagues, especially those in the Confucius Institute at Troy. Would those in the Confucius Institute please stand? <laughs> you made us proud to be associated with you. The people of China are really fortunate to have individuals like you as a uh, representative of the people of China, and we, we appreciate it and hope you enjoy Alabama as much as we did your country. I want to try one other word, and it's, it's, it's supposedly it's, I am wishing you a happy new year. Shen Na Kualu. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Senator Hawley. And uh, as um, was alluded to earlier, I think, our Confucius Institute is uh, special in that not only do we have this education and cult educational and cultural mission, but we've also at Troy added an economic development mission uh, to the Confucius Institute. And Senator Hawley just referred to a trip that actually fits very much, uh, was part of that mission, economic development mission, a 26 total uh, officials from the state go on a 15-day uh, economic uh, development uh, trip to China. They visited seven different cities, and in just a minute, we're going to we're going to show you um, a video that tries to capture uh, a little bit of that. But uh, before I do, if uh, we could just all the people who are here who went on the trip, if you wouldn't mind just standing so that we can give you a round of applause. I'm going to, in just a minute, I'm going to bring Senator Dial up to tell you a little bit more about the trip, but before, to give you a little bit of context for the trip, uh, we're going to first show a little short uh, three-minute video. Now, I have to tell you, if you've seen Senator Dial's initials, they're G-O-D, 
And uh, I want you to remember that uh, when you see one of the images uh, just a little bit later in this video. So if Charles, if we could go ahead and play the video. Looked like he was parting the sea there, right at the end there. Uh, at this time, I'd like to welcome up uh, Senator Gerald Dial, President Pro Tem of the Troy University Board of Trustees, and a great Alabamian, great leader, Senator Dial. Thank you so much, uh, John Caban. Thank you, and uh, it's hard to watch that video with sitting at the table with a group that made that trip and remembering all the other things that went on. It was such a great trip. It's such an honor to be here tonight and to have the number of the trustees here, and it's such an honor to have the Deputy Consul General here join us tonight. This is certainly a great event. One of the great things that happened at Troy, of course, is having Dr. Jack Hawkins as, the, as our Chancellor at the University. But I give him another accolade because he hired Dr. Iris Sue as the Confucius University and brought her on board. Dr. Irish, would you stand up a minute again? This is undoubtedly a great treasure that the Alabama Troy University has in her promotion. You would have to travel through China to understand the respect and the admiration she has and the door she opened for our group. And um, they stole my thunder. I wanted them all to stand up because I was going to speak personally against them and talk about some of their events, but since they've all stood up and they've threatened me quite heavily on my bills in the legislature, I will not do that today. 
But it is great to be here. We're most fortunate at Troy University to have what we have and how we move forward with it. But before I get any further, I want to read shortly a letter from Dr. Bentley. Dr. Bentley, the governor of the state of Alabama, could not be here today, but he said, I would like to take this opportunity to join Troy University Confucius Institute in this welcoming the 2016 Chinese New Year, the year of the red monkey. I greatly appreciate the contributions made by the Chinese communities in Alabama. And may you share your knowledge, renewed acquaintance, make new friends, and share our Southern hospitality in the coming year. Best wishes for your continued prosperity, health, and happiness. I trust you will all enjoy the event. Dr. Robert Bentley, Governor of the State of Alabama. And I wanted to share that. Governor asked me to share that. Thanks for the constitutional officers came tonight and for all of you here. Let me just shortly reminisce on our trip. 26 people went to China with no real understanding of what Chinese culture and Chinese environment and Chinese economics meant. They all left with a brand new appreciation of what's going on with our Chinese friends. We made personal contacts, we made personal friends, and the unity of the group could not have been better. This has been an enlightening experience for each of us, and I tell you one, it will certainly be a foundation to continue to grow the friendship we have. Because let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, we build rapport and friendship with our foreign nations, not by threatening them, not by talking about economic sanctions. We build it by personal, individual relationship that we created on this trip will be created by other trips thanks to the Confucius University and what we have at Troy. Uh, it's great to have the board members here uh, supporting us. Dr. Hawkins, again, thanks for your leadership. Thanks for all of you being here tonight, and we look forward to many more trips. The only reservation I've had tonight from the people who went on the trip were quite upset that we did not have meals around their lazy Susan. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. God bless you. One of the great privileges I have in leading the Troy Montgomery campus is the opportunity to introduce, on many occasions, our chancellor. Earlier this evening, I referred to Troy's rise to becoming Alabama's international university. Many people have worked to make that vision a reality, but that vision came from our chancellor. His steadfastness to the importance of exposing our students to the larger, broader world makes a difference every day in the lives of our students. It makes a difference in the lives of our faculty. It's important as an institution to create an opportunity for students to know that the world is a larger place. It extends beyond the end of their driveway. At this time, I'd like to call to the podium our chancellor, Dr. Hack Jack Hawkins, Jr. Thank you, Dr. Tatum. <laughs> uh, my wife, uh, Janice, and I extend to each one of you a, a happy new year on this, uh, during this, our 27th year of, of service to the university, and, and what a blessing it's been. And it uh, is a real pleasure to welcome to Alabama the Deputy Consul General Zhao Yumin and, and colleague and and uh, we hope this will be not your last visit here. We, we have talked about the other occasions in the future, and we want you to come back. Senator Dow, uh, thank you for your leadership, sir. And thank you for uh, leading that distinguished delegation uh, to China and back. <laughs> Senator Dow uh, focused on, on the key word tonight, and... Uh, and it's really at the heart of what we've come to celebrate, and it's 
at the heart of what we've become, I think, it, as a university. And when you talked about relationship building, uh, and it's all, life is about relationships. We often tell our students that at the end of the day, it's not about the financial portfolio. It's about the portfolio of lives touched. And that happens uh, one by one, and it happens through relationships. And that's the essence of uh, this celebration. There's a Chinese proverb that you're familiar with, I'm sure, that said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Our first step occurred in uh, Beijing in October of 2007 when we uh, joined Governor Bob Riley and Senator Dow and Senator Wagner. Uh, both were there as, as part of that delegation when we received the recognition that Troy University would serve as the host institution for the Confucius Institute of Alabama. Some, uh, I suspect most of you are familiar with the concept of the uh, Confucius Institute, but I've always been intrigued because I think it's probably one of the best examples of soft diplomacy uh, that exists in the world today. More than 400 Confucius Institutes have been established in over 100 countries, and the focus is on language, history, culture. And as Senator Dial said, and, and uh, Go General Govan echoed this, uh, we added uh, a third leg to that, and that's economic development. And I think the delegation that we saw go to China and back, and that's just one of many, uh, has, was focused on economic development. Good things are already beginning to happen, and that's what happens when good people come together. But uh, Senator Dow will remember on that occasion uh, in October of 2007, uh, when we made the, the bold statement that it was our goal to establish at Troy University and for the state of Alabama the world's number one Confucius Institute. That was our goal. Now, fortunately, five years later, Dr. Iris Yu went to Beijing and participated in a, in a huge ceremony that included all of those Confucius Institutes from around the world and received the award recognizing our Confucius Institute. <laughs> and so we come here tonight focusing on uh, the essence, relationship. And isn't, our, isn't it in our best interest to build relationships with our brothers and sisters in China? Uh, Alabama's second largest trading partner. That's important. I think it's important, too, to recognize as the world comes together that in short order, the largest English-speaking country in the world will be China. Because tonight, as we gather in celebration, there are 400 million people in China studying the English language. Think of what that means during the world of the future. And so it's a real honor for me tonight to make three very brief announcements. The first, since the uh, inception of our Confucius Institute, uh, we had uh, a good partner, Abe University, which is located uh, on the sea where the Great Wall enters the sea. We've done great things together. But our new partner, and I think uh, I'd be remiss uh, if I didn't recognize and thank our partners in Hanban, for their guidance and work as we are now taking the second step on this journey with a new partner. And just days ago, we signed a partnership with Sean King in Normal University. It's a university that's so similar to ours. They enroll about 28,000 students, 143 majors. They are a leader, and we like to believe we are a leader in distance learning. They are a leader in international education. We like to believe that we, too, are working to be that leader. They are a student-focused institution, and they're located in Chongqing, which is in southwest China. It's a small city of only 30 million people. <laughs> Everything is relative in China. But it's, it'll be a great new partner. It will facilitate increase faculty exchange, increase student exchange, it'll increase uh, 
the number of visiting scholars that come to Alabama. And we're excited about that new partner, and I wanted you to be aware of this next step. My second announcement to you is one that Mayor Strange alluded to because I had briefed him on what we're about to do in the city of Montgomery. And I was really delighted, but not surprised, that uh, Todd didn't begin telling stories about yours truly. He knew that I'd have the last word tonight. That's why he didn't. And with all due respect to our mayors here, and one being a trustee, so I'm on dangerous ground here, normally when I introduce Todd, I refer to him as the best mayor in America. <laughs> but Todd Strange, uh, just as a footnote, he is what public officials ought to be. <laughs> there was a Greek philosophy that said if you pursue leadership, honors, or award, you deserve none of the above. And people like Todd Strange, really, they don't need the job. It's like some others that I know. But he is a great leader, and I'm so proud to have been able to call him a friend since 1957. So I know Todd Strange. And he was a fraternity brother, so he better not start telling stories on Jack Hawkins. <laughs> that, th that second announcement is an exciting uh, new development that will occur on our Montgomery campus. I really appreciate Dr. Ingram and Dr. Tatum, Dr. Dew, uh, General Govan for their, and, and Dr. Bookout for their support of this. We will open a new Center for International Language and Culture on the Montgomery campus. It will house offices of the Confucius Institute and it will be the worldwide headquarters of uh, the Alabama Korean Education and Economic Partnership known as AKI. I know we have a few partners here with us or at least a couple uh, from AKI. Would you stand up and let us uh, see where you are and let us say thank you. The mission of that new center, of course, will be to promote Chinese and Korean languages and to uh, offer English as a second language. And uh, I am so proud of our ESL program at Troy. It was recently accredited at the very highest level. And the, this, uh, this whole center will be the focus of, of, of quality, and we're excited about that. And I make these announcements on a special day. Many of you know that uh, 15 years ago we opened the Rosa Parks Library and Museum here in Montgomery in recognition of a remarkable lady that we, uh, that we wanted to recognize from Alabama, and that's the late Miss Rosa Parks. Today is her birthday. Today she would have celebrated 103 years on this earth. We owe her so much. And part of the philosophy that she always espoused was the same philosophy that we heard from Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela. And it was, uh, it was a philosophy of change through peace. And uh, she said, on, for an occasion like this, she said, memories of our lives, of our works, and our deeds will continue in the lives of others. And therein is the importance of relationships because it's through relationships that we'll make change and we will see improvement. And so on this occasion of celebration of her 903 years of, of, uh, of, uh, since, since her birth, I want to get to my third announcement. Uh, General Dial uh, earlier recognized uh, a lady who is very, very special. And we all know that uh, the shadow of any institution never exceeds the shadow of its leader. Never. It's about leadership, and it's about leadership then that's focused on, on change, on people, and on making a difference. And I, I want to say tonight, this new center, in addition to the full-time job that she already has, Dr. Iris Shu will direct the Center for International Language and Culture, she is a distinguished scholar, widely respected throughout China and this country. We could ask for no better leader. She has been uh, the director of the Confucius Institute since its inception, and, uh, and she is a great, great person. And I, I want to thank her for her service to the university, and I'd like to ask Senator Dial if he would come up 
just before I ask uh, Dr. Shu to join us here. Dr. Shu, I want you to know how special you are, and through the assistance of our president pro tem of our board, would you please come and on behalf of your university and the Confucius Institute, let us say thank you. Good evening, everyone. I just say, I love you all. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I may have lost some dollars there. <laughs> I had it down too. <laughs> Confucius tells us, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. As I stated earlier, the mission of Alabama's Confucius Institute is statewide and its influence since its creation has been felt in all parts of our state. They do so that others may understand. On behalf of Troy University, our chancellor, Dr. Jack Hawkins, Jr., <laughs> the Confucius Institute, and its director, Dr. Irish Xu, I wanna thank each of you for your attendance at tonight's Chinese New Year Appreciation Banquet. I wish everyone a happy Chinese New Year. Hello.